morning YouTube and the internet today rings going on the pistons pistons going in the engine uh, before I do it though you can do this by hand and I'll just show you how to do this by hand I've got an old piston here these are the rings that I've practiced gapping on and quite simply you get one end you can grab it this is to remove it bring it over the top and then just pull it around it'll come out second ring is always a bit harder because you've got to get it a bit higher uh, these have you know come out and stuff so they're not as sticky as they would be with the carbon on them and voila so to put them back on by hand it's the same process Get it on the on the small side. Grab one end, drag it down, put it in the slot in the groove, the ring groove. Grab the end, pull it out, and just pull it down with your thumb. Pop it in to the groove. Give it a squeeze. Then show you again here on the top ring. Get it flattish on the low side, pop that in there, this one's a bit sticky because I haven't cleaned out the ring grooves. Get the end over it, pull it around, easy as that, give it a squeeze and then when you put the ring compressor on it, it pulls it all in together. I won't bother showing you the oil ring because the, the rings are so thin that they um, that they're very malleable, very flexible, very easy. So, and to use the tool, just push the ring out on one side, put the tool over the ring, pick up the ends of it, squeeze, and lose it. square over the end of it miss it make sure we got both hands picked up Just like that, squeeze, it'll grab the ring, open it up, pull it off, show you again, so finger on the back, pushes it out, get the tool all the way down over it, my fingers are all slippery from the oil, So now I will put the rings on the pistons I'm going to use. Put this back over here. Okay, we've got piston number one. Oil rings go first. All these have been uh, gapped. Now the oil rings. You just need to check that the gap is right. It's a uh, 15 thou. So we'll just uh, push this ring over. They're very thin, very malleable, like I said. One. Now the scraper ring. Right. 
doesn't seem to fit. Let's try putting the uh, oiling ring in first, scraper. Just take this one out. So put that one in first, assuming I can get these in, there is a taper on it, so lovely, and now the top ring for the oil ring, That's your oil ring done. Top groove, second groove. I'll put these in the bags with the numbers um, according to which groove they are for. So use the bags that they come in to make sure they stay in the right place. Cut a bit of tape off. Always cut towards yourself. <laughs> I want to guarantee injuries. Um, because I've put an adhesive on this, a bit of alcohol, wipe it off. Grab my ring tool, clean my hands and the handles because they're still oily. Well, the handles still oily. From handling that old piston. And rings. There we go. So these have a top and a bottom. And in this case, we have a small etched dot, which you won't be able to see. Put it in the tool. Put it in the tool. Expand it over the top of the piston. Down over the second ring and over the second groove. Press the tool, push it in. Second ring in. Number one again. These are gapped for the cylinders, and this is piston number one, which is match weighted. On the machine shop, it's part of the rotating assembly balance. Get residual oil off that. Now, these ones have a uh, chamfer, very small chamfer on the inside there. That goes to the top in this case. Expand the ring over the top, line it up with the groove, release it, pop it in, there we go, squeeze it in, we have a set of rings. and repeat five more times and that's that done and then they should be ready to go into the engine before assembly though I do have to clean these again uh, just to make sure that everything is spotless because I've been sitting here for a couple of days since I assembled the pistons and check the uh, check the clearances on the conrods so yeah that's that it's pretty easy so the ring compressor will squeeze them right down into the bore. Uh, oh, the other thing is the orientation. I knew there was something I was missing, which is why I kept talking. We have an orientation here. They come with the rings. So, bottom oil ring gap, front of engine. Front of engine is the spool logo. 
So, bottom oil. Ring gap goes there. Yep. Uh, oil ring expanded gap range. This is a small hook. Should be able to just drag this around. No. It's taking the whole ring with it. Whole ring assembly. Drag that around till I find there's the gap. Uh, so that's oh you bastard. This is fiddlier than I expected. Try and hold the bottom oil ring in place. Dragging the scraper around. There we go. Me, you bastard. Obviously being super cautious not to um, scratch the piston with this pick. Okay, so the bottom ring in its location, there. Gap. It's hard to see. There it is. It's pretty much in the middle of the range on this, so that's where that needs to be. So they're relative to each other. They they may rotate around again while I set the top oil ring gap. But I'm hoping I can move the top oil ring gap without moving the other two. Finger now. Yep. It's gonna go. I should have gone the other way. I've got to go past 180 here. So that goes there. That's right there. And this is still just going to come around a little bit. Boom. That's in the right location. I'll double check them before I put them in. They haven't rotated around, but that's the hard bit done. Uh, second compression ring from the front of the engine needs to be 90 degrees to the left. there and the top oil ring ah uh, sorry top ring ah opposite side 180 degrees which pretty much is So all the rings are moving around a little bit while I do that, but they're pretty much in the right location, and I'll just uh, make sure that they are in the correct place as I install them and put the uh, as I put the uh, ring compressor on to install them, and should be good to go. So that's installing the rings. Pretty easy. Um, the only reason I'm not doing this by hand on these pistons is I don't want to scratch the piston with the ring uh, as I pull it on and off. These are, you know, quite expensive <laughs> and they're machined the way they are for a reason so I don't want to go undoing that machining by scratching it with uh, the inside edge of the rings. Five to go, then will be job done.